Welcome back to the channel if you're new here. My name is Isaac and in this video I don't actually know if I'm going to build a jump or not. We will see. This jump that I built last time, sorry it's been a while, but this jump isn't perfect as you would have seen. Um, I was riding my San Quentin back then, I hadn't gotten my new bike when I'd built this jump and I'd just overshoot it, overshoot it, overshoot it. I'd be landing at the top but it's such a short landing and it just didn't work perfectly. And now I've ridden it on my Canyon since and it's a push to clear it like it's such a big heavy and sluggish uh, bike for this kind of little tight jump that it just doesn't work i'm just sending it way too far on the little bikes and on the big bike i can barely clear it so it doesn't suit very many types of bikes and you can see the landing has a, a major crack it's nearly split in half or it has split in half and this side will probably topple off before too long so yes you probably guessed it i'm going to change this jump as you can see right now the jump is just sending you right into the thickest part of the bushes in that direction and wouldn't it be nice if it sent you in that direction with a little catch berm to send you in between those two trees pretty much exactly where the path already follows through there so yes i'm going to change this landing i'm going to turn this into a hip now you might think that's kind of a dumb idea because i just go flying off the edge right there and yes you're probably right but i'm thinking just kind of that line you've got a little way you kind of be running into that tree and that might be even good to stack the berm against and then i'll just whoo, back into those trees so it's something different and then i'll have a berm and maybe add a roller after that within another berm to keep you going straight i don't know we'll see what happens so that's the plan let's get into it see how far we get might get a berm built might get a berm and a roller built afterwards don't know how far we'll get hope you guys enjoy Alrighty, this jump has just changed a little bit. It looks so sick. I think I've nailed the hippiness of it. Um, it's not too hipped, um, but it's not too straight either. I think it's spot on. As you can, uh, I nearly slipped over. As you can see, coming from the takeoff, you hip over and land in. And as you can see, I've started to angle it in for the catch berm already. So that's looking really nice. So the next step is to grab the whipper snipper and chop a heap of trail out and then I'll be able to build the rest of the berm and see what's coming after that. We'll keep building and uh, see what happens. Alright, so it's super soft, like I've only just finished building it, but I was like, you know what, forget about it. I'm just going to get the bike and ride this hip. And here's a clip of me doing that, and then we're going to have a bit of a chat about what I think of it and what the deal is. That's going to be sick.
All right, so firstly, this is a takeoff. Um, it's not a roller, and that is because obviously I'm gonna put a jump here, but I'm not gonna build that landing in this video because look how soft it is. Look how deep my tires have gone. It's way too soft. There's absolutely no way to judge the speed. This part of the berm's actually relatively hard, but it's just not possible to judge how much speed I'll get. I literally dribble off of that takeoff and land right on the other side of the log getting as much speed as I can. So it just won't work to build a jump there yet because I don't know how big to make it. So look, I literally landed perfectly in the middle of the landing. This is like spot on. Uh, no braking after that jump and you just pop off nicely and I landed right in the middle of the jump. So that means any bike more sluggish than mine will be able to land here and any bike a lot nimbler like a BMX or dirt jumper will be able to land here. So it suits an enduro bike perfectly in the middle. As it comes into summer, these are gonna get harder as well. So then I'll be able to boost it even further. I'm so stoked that I've got this jump absolutely nailed now. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do cause it was like not very fun, but a hip was definitely the way to go. So there's no way I can continue on without completely guessing and I want to definitely nail this next jump as well. So we'll wait till it hardens up. It's not a big lip, so I'll just be able to jump to flat, see where I'm landing and then we'll build a nice big landing there. And yes, what I did get done is looking so sick and it works so well. I just can't wait for it to harden up. Then it's just going to be literally ideal. I'm so stoked that it works so perfectly. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel to see what I build next once this is hardened up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.